السلام عليكم ماي ديار براز اسيستاس ويلكم باك ذيس يور براذر عبد الرحمن نور هو از جوين تشيك فور يو ماثيماتكس اوف هاي سكول از يو كان سي اون بورد وي هاف سيرفيس اريا اوف اسفير وي ويل اولسو بي ديسكاسين اباوت ذا سيرفيس اريا اوف اسفير اند از ويل از ذا سيرفيس اريا اوف اوف ا كون ويذين ذيس ليسون بو ميلي ليتس جو اند ستارت ويذ ذا اسفير ليتس سي ذا فيرست اكسامبل Example one, you are told find the surface area of the sphere below. Find the surface area of a sphere of a sphere whose radius is twenty eight centimeter. Uh, in KCSE or any other exam, guys, uh, you are expected to know all formulas that will help you solve uh, any question that requires uh, that kind of formula you are looking for. And here, when we are talking about a sphere, a sphere is made up of four uh, circles, four concentric circles. So, surface area of a sphere come to the solution here. We know that surface area as a is equal to. 4 by r squared. So far we have 4 circles, 4 concentric circles. Then you're going to say 4 by r squared. Now in this situation you're going to say as l therefore, which is the surface area abbreviated, is equal to 4 times by, which is 12 plus 7, times r squared, which is 28 centimeter, times also 28 centimeter. Because our r is, is what? It's 28 by 7, 1 by 7 is 4. So you must have your calculator. Don't forget that this will help you. So we are going to say, uh, using our calculator, we are going to say, uh, SA, therefore, is equal to 4 times this one is how much? 88. Okay? 88 times this one is what? 352 centimeter times 28 centimeter. So that will give me, uh, remember, 88 times 4 is 352. Don't forget that. Time is 28 now. The answer is, the answer is 98.56, okay? 98.56 centimeter square. That's how you are going to solve, okay? Or how you are going to get the surface area of a sphere. The surface area of a sphere is gotten as 4 pi r square. Don't forget this formula to help you in case you see, okay? Guys, uh, so you will proceed using this formula. So far you have the radius. You're going to say, SL, which is the surface area, is equal to 4 pi r squared. In this situation, we know that 4 is constant, by is also constant in the formula, and r is given, which is 28, okay? So you're going to say 4 times by value, which is 12 plus 7, times 28 centimeter, times also what? 28 centimeters, and then the final solution or verdict to this problem is what? 98.56 centimeter uh, squared. There are some situations where we are going to see uh, when the surface area of a sphere is given and then you will be told to look for what you normally call uh, to look for the radius okay now let's see that example two example two about this okay this is our example two So in we said in, a, in this first example we said the surface area is gotten as what four pi r squared. Then you are going to substitute the value of r, then get the value. So sometimes uh, you could be told to look for the radius given the area, the surface area of the of the uh, hemisphere. So let's see that. You are told the surface area. You are told. Look here. You are told. The surface area, the surface area of a sphere is we have five five four four. We have this one. Then we have this part. Okay. We are told the surface area is actually fifty five forty four centimeter square. Full stop. Then you're told find the radius of this sphere. 
full stop. Do you know why this question is very important? Sometimes you can be given a certain area and you can be told to look for the volume of which you are going to, dis uh, to discuss in, uh, in our next uh, classes. Okay? Here, you are told the surface area of a sphere is what? Is 55 foot 4 centimeters square. You are so it means you are given the surface area. What were you told then? Find the radius of this sphere. I will now write the formula. I know that, look here, I know that SA, which is surface area, is equal to 4 pi r squared. I'll write the formula. Then for me to get r, the first thing I'm going to do is, I will eliminate these two. I'll say, divide both sides by, by 4 pi, okay? Because my target is to get r alone, not to get. So cancel these two, 4 pi and 4 pi remove. So there you are left with that, with r squared. So we're going to say r squared is equal to sa divided by 4 pi. Then remember your target is to get r, but not r squared, okay? This is for you. Your target is to get r, and here you have what? r squared. Then you introduce root sign, okay? You're going to introduce root sign on both sides of the equation, okay? The main function, the main reason, uh, or the main function of uh, this root is to eliminate the square sign, okay? Uh, which is on top of r. So cancel these two. So r is equal to sa surface area over 4 pi into root. So this is how you're going to get the radius given the surface area. Then come here. So far you know how to calculate. You're going to say r therefore is equal to sa is 5544 5544 divided by 4 pi. 4 times pi, okay? So this will give me r is equal to into root all together. This will give me 5, 5, 4, 4, divided by 88 8 out of 7 into root. Then I will multiply 7 here, 7 also here, to you made this one. Then I will say, uh, let me get now, try to say 55 times, uh, 5, 5, 4, 4 times 7, divided by 88. 8. So the answer is what? R is equal to the root of, uh, the root of, 441. Uh, Remember in primary, back in primary we say that the square root of a number can be gotten in two ways in primary and in secondary we use the lock, okay? So now let me get R. I know that, I know that R is equal to the root of what? 441. Inside the root sign we have what you normally call, uh, we have, sorry, we have three digits. So what are we going to say? We're going to say 1, 2, comma. We have rules for getting the square root of a number. And I'm sure you get from our YouTube channel, okay? So we are going to say, in the event where you have three lambdas inside the square root side, and you want to get the square root of that lambda, what you're going to say is one, two, comma. Okay? You'll have a lambda here and two lambdas, okay? So you ask yourself, which lambda can I place here as well as here? Then I multiply to get what? Four. You give me four. That's two, two. Two times two is what? Four. Subtract now, zero. After doing that, you multiply this lambda by, by two, whichever it is. Whichever lambda it is, okay? So now uh, we are going to say times two, that is four. Then uh, bring these two down together. You bring them down at a go, yes and sum. Because you are not dealing with the division, you are dealing with the square. So there is a rule which says if the last digit is zero, uh, if the last digit is one, if the last digit is one, comma, one or nine goes up. So let me write for you that so that it will help you. If the last digit is if the last digit is one comma one or nine one or what or nine goes up so you have this number will be accompanied by either nine or one or just understand yeah so let me start with the smaller one let's say one yeah also one take that one and multiply by this two uh, digit number so this one four this is also for two and subtract now radius therefore Radius is equal to 21 centimeter. That's how you're going to get the radius. Okay? Or even you can use lock. Okay? You can use lock the moment you come here. There are so many ways to solve this thing, okay? So this is how you're going to get the surface area of a sphere. And as well as it is radius given, it is surface area. Just understand that. Now let's proceed and see how we're going to get uh, the surface area of... Uh, okay? The surface area of hemisphere. The surface area of hemisphere, okay? Let's see that. The surface area of hemisphere. 
Let's see that, okay? We are going to see how to get the surface area of hemisphere. That is half of hemisphere. The surface area of what? Of hemisphere. The surface area of hemisphere, okay? Let's now see that one. Surface area of hemisphere, okay? Hemisphere means what? Half of hemisphere, okay? Then let's see that. Let's see the first example here. Let's see example. We are told to find the surface area. SM is what? Surface area of a hemisphere whose radius whose radius is 42 cm so at the moment you hear hemisphere is what half hemi means half half of the hemisphere so we are going to say a uh, solution solution to this problem we are going to say as a is equal to a half times 4 pi r square why am i saying a half times because it is hemisphere, half of a sphere. And remember, we have talked about the surface area of a sphere. It is gotten as 4 pi r squared. So, hemisphere is what? Half of a sphere. So, you want to multiply by half. Then, S A therefore, is equal to 2 pi r squared by 2, 1, by 2, 2. So, you get 2 pi r squared, yeah? So, we can say now, S A therefore, is equal to 2 times by times r squared for 2 centimeters times what? For 2 centimeter. So by 7, 1, by 7 is 6, yeah? So as a therefore is equal to this times this is 44, times 6 what? 264 centimeter times 42 centimeter. So this will give you how much? Times 42 centimeter. So the final answer is uh, 11,088, okay? 11,088. Okay, 11,088 centimeter squared or uh, square centimeter, I just understand that. So this is how you're going to get the surface area of, uh, of a sphere. It is very easy, by the way. It's half of a sphere. Okay, it's half of a sphere. Just understand that, guys. So the surface area of a sphere is gotten as uh, half times the surface area, the formula of the surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared, okay? Just understand that. So now sometimes they can also give you, they can also give you the surface area of a hemisphere and you can be told to look for the radius, okay? This is uh, knowledge of mathematics outside book. I'm helping you guys. It's knowledge of mathematics which is rarely seen in the book and it can be examined, of course. Yeah? Getting the radius is not one in the KAB. So I'm, I'm just trying to help you so that you don't suffer during a national exam. Just understand. Now, so far we have learned how to get the surface area of a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere. Now, let's look, let's look at how to get the radius given the surface area, okay? The radius given the surface area. Let's go to example, example two, okay? You are told the surface area, the surface area, as M is what? It is the abbreviated abbreviation for what? Abbreviation or contraction for surface area as L. So the surface area of a hemisphere is a hemisphere, okay? Is we have a nineteen seven twelve centimeter square. Full stop. Then you are told find it is a radius. Full stop. Find it is a radius. Uh, this time we know that S A. S A of hemisphere is gotten as what? S A is equal to 2 by R squared Z. We said S A of hemisphere is gotten as 2 by R squared. Not to be that. 2 by R squared. Then our target is to get R. So far we have the surface area. So the first thing we are going to do is we will eliminate 2 pi by dividing both sides. Yeah? Just understand. Cancel this thing. So you are left with what? With R squared. 
So we'll have r squared is equal to s n divided by 2 pi. And our target is to get what? Long to get, our target is to get uh, is to get r alone, and we have r squared here. So we introduce root here. We also introduce root here. Cancel. So r is equal to s n all over 2 pi into root. s n all over 2 pi into root. So r is equal to s n is what? 19712 all over 2 times by then into what? Into root. Just understand that. So this is how you're going to get. So what matters is, do you know how to get the square? So we're going to say the root of what? 19712 divided by 44 out of 7, then times 7, times 7, take this one. So we'll have r is equal to the root of, the root of what? The root of, uh, the root of 19712 times 7 divided by 44. Let me get for us. Times 7. 19712 times 7 divided by 44. So I got what? Come here, I got r is equal to the root of uh, that 1, that 6, okay? That 1, that 6. Now, let's now get without even uh, inserting here, inside. So in the examination, you can say root answer, then you are going to get the final answer. But now let me help you. How are you going to get this one using the wrong method? How are you going to get the square root of that one, that six? We're gonna say so far we have four numbers inside the square root side. This is what you're going to say. One, two, comma. You see now, we have two numbers and two numbers, yeah? Then we ask ourselves, which number can we place here? Can we place here as well as here? Then we multiply by itself. To give, to give us that one or a lambda closer to what? To that one. So we're going to say five. Five. Because if you place here six, six times six, what? That six, okay? It will exit the lambda. Just understand. So five times seven is what? Twenty-five. Subtract. This is six. Okay, now the moment you subtract, always multiply this number by two times two. That is ten. So bring this one down. Bring this two down there. So you'll have six hundred. That's six, yeah? Six hundred. That's six. There's a law which says, there's a rule which says, if the last digit is six, four or six goes up. If the last digit is six, four or six goes up. So we'll start with a, with a, with a smaller lamp, yeah? Four or six. Let me start with four. Four also, yeah. So this is 16, carry one, zero, one, four. So this will not bring the final answer, can't you see now? So we're going, we will go for, we will go for six, just understand that. So I'll place a six here also, six instead of four. So times 6, that is carry 3, 0, 3, then 6. So you have the same value, 606. So radius, therefore, you're going to say radius is equal to uh, 56 centimeters. Or you can use your calculator, just understand. Uh, in the event where you want to save time and you don't have this gravity space for that. So this is how you're going to get the surface area of hemisphere and hemisphere as well as the radius given the surface area, guys. In our next class, we will really be discussing about surface area of a cone. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Make sure you subscribe this noble YouTube channel of ours. It's an academic channel that will help you, uh, particularly during this uh, period of uh, pandemic disease. Otherwise, have a nice day.